Hey Trail Runners, welcome back to the Daily Round. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's crosshair passage comes to us from Matthew 4, 16, which says the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. The Daily Fire thought for today is that the entrance of your words gives light. They give understanding to the simple. Rounding the word passages for today is Psalm 119, 130, Matthew 4, 16, Matthew 5, 14. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is 2 Chronicles 16, Revelation 5, Zechariah 1, and John chapter 4. Today we're going to be talking about predestination and evangelism. Predestination is an academic subject for a high the theological debate. My approach is not to get bogged down in theory, but to do the work of an evangelist. My response towards the controversy is to cut through the layers of theological concepts and step out in action. Whether people are among the elect or not, I want to make sure I am not going to risk the eternal destiny of souls upon any doctrinal deductions or theories. There is nothing in the New Testament that says we have, we should not preach the gospel and nothing to say that we should not do our best to persuade people into the kingdom. So that is what I want to do. We shall know the truth and when we get to heaven, it'll be made known. If everybody I find there had been predestined, fine. I surely do not want to risk anyone in heaven saying to me, Did you know for sure that I was elected? Why did you not preach the gospel to me? You gambled on your ideas being right and played dice with my soul. I could have been in hell instead of here. Why should I, an evangelist, come to North America, any country, any place, any church, and, and any place in Western culture? Is there not light there anymore? already more than in India or Egypt or, or any other country well there is light there the West has the gospel in every town and every city on TV and the radio is a proliferation of Christian bookstores there is light am I bringing light where there is already light? There is light in North America, but only because there are Christians here to sh who shine. All the light comes from them. Jesus said, you are the light of the world, Matthew 5.14. So I am happy to shine with Westerners. I am happy to shine with anybody that aligns themselves to believe in Jesus Christ. The atheists, liberals, and agnostics would ha have it the way they wanted, but they would soon reap what they sowed. Without a guiding light, there would be anarchy. Let your light shine. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride. And I'll see you on the next trail ride.